Can you use the information provided to work out the probability that if Alex picks one sweet, it will be a sweet that she likes? Who is right? Alex, James or neither? Press pause to try it or continue for a solution. The video starts by using the ratios to work out the number of sweets of each type in the box. Adding these ratios gives nine parts altogether. There are 54 sweets altogether. Dividing this by nine gives six, so there are six sweets in each part. Three parts are caramel, so three times six gives the number of caramels in the box, which is 18. The nutty sweets are made up of four parts, so four lots of six sweets gives 24. And the truffle sweets are made up of two parts. Two times six gives 12 truffles. In order to work out Alex's probability, first work out the number of each type of sweet and record the results in a table for clarity. This table shows the types of centres across the top and the types of covering down the side. Finally, a row of totals which have just been worked out. 18 caramels, 24 nutties and 12 truffles. The next part of the question states that a half of each type of sweet is covered in dark chocolate. So a half of the caramels is 9, a half of the nutties is 12 and a half of the truffles is 6. Then work out the number of white chocolates which is a third of the remaining sweets. 18 minus 9 is 9, and a third of this is 3 sweets. 24 minus 12 gives 12, the number of nutty sweets remaining, and a third of this is 4. 12 minus 6 gives 6 truffles remaining, and a third of this is 2. Finally, the number of milk chocolate caramels is found by adding the numbers of dark and white chocolate caramels together and subtracting from the total number of caramels. So 9 plus 3 is 12. 18 minus the 12 is 6. The number of milk chocolate nutties is 12 plus 4, giving 16. And taking this from 24, gives eight nutties. Six plus two is eight. Taking this away from 12 gives the number of milk chocolate truffles as four. Now that the table is complete, cross out the sweets Alex does not like, such as all the nutty bars and the white chocolate bars. Then add up the sweets left as these are the ones she likes, the total of which comes to 25. The probability of picking a sweet that Alex likes is equal to the number of sweets that she does like, which is 25, divided by the total number of sweets in the box, so giving a probability of 25 over 54. The meaning of this probability fraction is, in this case, easier to see as a decimal or as a percentage. Both are rounded to two significant figures. This clearly shows that the probability of 46% is less than 50%, so James is right. I hope you found this video useful. You might like to try some other probability videos.